freemonday.com review is it better for your crm and project management hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you around freemonday.com version what are the different features and tools we get in the free version of monday.com or this free version is okay for you to use so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply open up monday.com on your laptop or you know your pc after that what you have to do is simply click on get started once you click on get started the signing up process is really easy and there is no credit card required so we get a free trial with all of the versions so when you will be signing up there is going to be no fee and we can sign up with our google account or we can enter our email address once you sign up after that you can choose from different plans available so you can see right here we have the paid version for monday.com and that gives us a lot of different features and tools but we also have a free plan which is free forever and it is for up to two seats so i'm going to select this one because i'm going to be reviewing a free version of monday.com simply click on continue and again choose the individual plan and now you will be able to get your own free monday.com dashboard so this is our monday.com let's start with this we have our notification option our inbox my work and this is where i will be able to get my different products that i have created so what i have to do now is simply create my own workspace to create a new workspace you can simply you know go to any of the workspaces that you already have created or maybe create one from the scratch i will go to a main workspace and this is like a workspace we get keep in mind with the free version you will not be getting unlimited workspace is and you will not get the unlimited boards but uh, we are getting like the basic features to manage few members it only has like two users so you will be able to use it with some other person your team member and then you will be able to create a board let's create a new board this is one of the boards that i have already created so to create a new board you can simply go ahead and choose the option to add right here and then go to new board so to create a new board you can simply give your board a name i will call it test board and after that we have to select the privacy and in privacy you can go with main one private one or a shareable and then we have select what you're managing in this board so i'm actually managing my tasks so i'm going to select this option and i will click on create board so you can see this is my new board let me show you around how we work on a board on monday.com so you can see right here we have add views what are the different views we're getting in the free version we are getting all of the views so this is really impressive because on other project management software one of the main differences is that we cannot get the views but right here we are getting the views and i really like the card view so i'm gonna add this view right here then we have another view which is going to be a chart view so you can see like few of the views are actually available in the free version thank god the card one is available uh, but if i go to the chart one the chart one is available in the paid plan so you're not getting a few of the views in the free version but you will be getting a table view and a card view and we can also get i think the kanban one of course okay yes so we're getting the kanban one as well so we have three views available in the free version we have card one main table and kanban so this is okay this is uh, this is okay with me personally because i really like the card and kanban view so this is really good for me if you're looking for chart view then this is not available in the free version of course you will add the description for your word so i'm just going to write the word description for now let's move on to our task what you have to do is simply create a new task let's see what are the different features we're getting in the task so i'm going to click right here on add task and let's call it task one all right now let's actually open it up so this is my task one we're getting the group option and i can add a group right here so i'm selecting this one then we have the assignee option i'm going to assign it to myself and then we have different statuses we can create different statuses and to add a status what you have to do is you simply click on this option right here which says added label and you add your label name let's call it completed 
okay and now we can select from different colors so for the completed one i'm gonna go with this purple color right here and i will simply you know apply and this will be saved similarly we can add due dates so the due date option is available and we can set a due date from this option i will simply select the due date for this date there you go and now we have this task that i just created you can see i have assignee i have statuses basic things that i can do i can also start a conversation with in my task then we have the filter option right here in filters we will be able to search by filters but this option is actually not available in the free version the basic search is of course available but you cannot create your own filters um, then we have new task option here as well and it allows us to import task as as well and we can add a task into any of the groups after that we have integrations if i go to integrations we can integrate anything to our workspace but you will actually have to few of the different integrations are not going to be available in the free one for example gmail is available google calendar will be available in the free version but the rest for example if you want to integrate your mail chamber trello google drive asana so that's not available you can see this is in the pro version so when it comes to integrations i'm sorry you will not be able to add any but what you can do is you can search for different integrations that are by monday.com they are available you cannot integrate another platform but you can get your own calendars for example if i search for calendar right here then maybe i will be able to find any of the calendar that's available with our monday.com so but most of the integrations are with the pro version so that's actually a drawback of the free version uh, we cannot integrate a lot of different features let's go to automation and in automation center again we have different features such as recurring task or maybe moving items creating sub items so we have our own you know option of create an item and assign it to someone these are the different automation options and these are also available in the pro version you can see right here we're getting good options in monday.com in the free version but again it's very limited and we're not getting the automation we're not getting the integrations what we're getting is we're getting two views we're getting boards we're getting two users but to if we talk about like the basic feature which is creating task then we're getting that and we we're getting the assigning option the due date but that's it after that let's go to invite and let's see if we will be able to invite someone then of course you can you can enter an email address right here an invitation will be sent to them so okay this feature is available then we have add to board option so we can add anything we have apps right here now we have our own apps market and this is what i was talking about in the free version you will be able to add different applications to your monday.com you can see i can add them they are not in the pro version Version. integrations are in the pro version but when it comes to adding applications to your monday.com we get our own app marketplace and that is available in the free version so that's actually a really good news for us and after that we have more actions we can duplicate boards we can print boards we can export um, anything we want to and then we have activity so we will be able to check the activity what's happening in our workspace so these are the different features we're getting in the free version and this is the dashboard for you of the free version of monday.com and then creating a task is really easy you know managing them creating tables you can get any of the views and then you will be able to manage your team better with monday.com i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use a free version of monday.com what are the features and tools we're getting in the free version and how you can use it to manage your team better don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel